What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Everyday here. Welcome to you to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Log. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day today. I am having an amazing day. We're going to get some stuff done. We're going to the second island. We're going to figure out some lots of things. Not some things. Lots of things today. So, let's go ahead and do a quick team recap today. As hopefully things go well. I keep hitting the... Okay. This is, it's going to bother me. I'm going to hit the C button like a thousand times today. Because I've been doing some Pokemon... Oh. Got to get my other team member. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get my other team member real quick. Because my other team member is in the box. Because if he's not in the box, he reverts to not Omega. So, ah! Stop hitting the C button, John. I know that's what you use for challenge version. That's not how this one works. But yeah, so he will re uh, our Swampert will revert to a regular if he does not get um, put in the box. So we don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead. Ah! Okay, let's go ahead and do a quick team recap if I can actually, like, recap it. -y. Thanks. Uh, what button? There we go. There we go. We're figuring it out. We have Papa, the two can the, the Trumbeak, not Toucan, with Dark Pulse, Roost, Dizzy Punch, and... Play rough with the roar of Veil as an ability. We got Green Bird with Searing Shot, Side Beam, Hex, and Sacred Fire. We got Daddy the Machamp with Storm Throw, Brick Break, Snatch, and Cotton Guard. We got Jonas the Girder with Seismic Toss, Protect, Magnitude, and Confusion. Or Confusion? Is that. Why did I say Confusion? Magnitude and Low Kick. Oh, I saw Comatose and thought Confusion. And then we got Zayden with Thunder Punch, Shadow Sneak, Steamroll, and Waterfall. That's the team at the moment. We're doing pretty good, honestly, team wise. We still haven't gotten a team of six because we keep getting like six billion different Gen 2 mods, which. Is not the worst thing in the world, but it's still kind of annoying having a lot of, like, Generation 2 mons just being on the team for no apparent reason. It's like, can we get something good? And look, it's daytime again because, well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> we legit have been recording this series at night most of the time, which kind of defeats the purpose of doing Ultra Moon. Because I wanted it to be dark out, but that's a whatever, right? Like... It can be dark out if we if it wants to be, but it's just kind of funny to me to like to really think about what. Oh, we actually have to go down here, but yeah, it's really funny to think that we're playing Ultra Moon, right? And the whole point of playing Ultra Moon is because it's dark out, and I like the dark shading and all that stuff in the game. But we keep recording at like eight o'clock at night because, well, there's no reason not to. And then it's like, oh, well, huh? They're kind of. Kind of defeats the purpose because it's before six o'clock, but that's okay. We had we had some fun streaming today. We actually finished Pokemon NU only, which is kind of crazy to think about. Like we actually beat the game on a Pokemon NU only. Like, the, and it's funny because it was literally did that the same day that Ryan like streamed leveling up a Metapod to level one hundred, which is freaking hilarious to me. Like, oh no no no, continue. Hold up. Ah, what button? It's Q, isn't it? No, it's E. I hate the fact that it, like, actually requires you to do this. It's, like, so dumb. It's like, oh, by the way, you have to take photos. Do I really have to? I do. It does make you do it. Of course. Oh, it's like, well, it goes SD card. Oh, fudge. This game is dumb. Okay, hold on. We're going to get back to this. Okay, we're back after the misclick. Luckily, we got it figured out and working. Um, basically, all that happened was I just had to tell her no, but I didn't know I could tell her no. I thought I had to actually take the picture. So, you know, we learned something new every day, and that's the that's gonna be if that's the new thing I learned today. That is a new thing that I learned today, and we will take it. Learning new things like that always a positive. It makes the day just that much better when you can learn something new, as they say. You know, learn something new every day. Um, okay, I don't even know. Oh, Jesus. And it got all, like, as soon as I started recording, it got all hot in my room all of a sudden. It's just like, okay. Um, now, Lily and Kakui want to talk to us about how everything in our lives are going. It's kind of interesting. It's like, they they want, but how wants to go Mantine Surfing? And honestly, I like Mantine Surfing. I think that was a really good addition that they added in uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon that they didn't have in Sun and Moon. I know it was a little addition, and it's not like it's something massive but it is still something they added to the game that they didn't have to for our enjoyment purposes so i will give them credit where credit is due they do deserve a little bit of credit there i love being able to like kind of just mess around go to different routes get different items with my battle points because they give you battle points for it so it's like it's very nice and i'm very happy that they do that and um yeah so i can't not gonna lie, I kind of want my speed to be at 105%. Would you guys be okay with that? Because 
I feel like it might be better if my speed is at 105% for these episodes. And now I say that because it just it just feels the the, the, the controls feel slow. Um but they're not they're not actually being slow. I think it's just I've been so used to watching Oh, let me get that. I think that's an item I can get. It's a oh, wow, that's $5,000. We take the I didn't know that was there. That's the first time I've ever gotten that for real though. Um but I think a lot of it has been I've been seeing amazing creators like Culpa and uh Cypher and Aaron and a lot of people going and making it like 105 speed. Um and it just or like maybe even more, but it just looks more flawless and it looks more it looks better, a lot better. Um a lot especially for like a solo series like this. And here's why I say that. Because I keep hitting X because X is A in challenge version. Um but I say this because it is a solo series, right? And so being a solo series, I do have to entertain. Like, right? That's like literally what I want my job to be is literally to entertain you guys and have a good time, which I do. I have a good time and I hope I entertain you guys. Um, but I think that it will help pacing. It'll help a lot of things. You also get to experience more stuff going on. It's just maybe some of the sprites will be a little messed up. But honestly, like... Who cares about a Zubat flapping 5% faster? Um, <laughs> like, honestly. Like, if you really care about a Zubat flying 5% faster, then who are you? Um, but who knows? Like, honestly, it is very, very, very... It makes me curious. Like, would you guys care about that? That's, I guess, your comment question of the day. Also, if you not have not already made it this far in the video, make sure you like and... Yeah answer the common question of the day of would you mind if i do 105 percent speed because that is going to help my channel significantly you guys have been killing it on the watch time lately like honestly you guys have literally been making me cry lately like honestly like last episode that went up got 15 minutes of audience view duration on a 27 minute video it's like and that's average view duration right so that's like you guys sat there for more than a half of a vi the video which is insanity like, but it's an insanity in an amazing way. Now, did YouTube push it out? No, but that's okay because I love you guys and we can't control what YouTube does, but we can control what you guys do and you guys have been killing it. So honestly, it's been fun to kind of see all that and see you guys responding really well to this series. And like, honestly, I have a lot of fun recording the series. Like I can only do one today because it's a little late and I don't want to record super late today. Um, but because, you know, being 10 o'clock, it's like, kind of late but we can do like i said one episode which would be um up to S cena and dexio probably which is still a quite a big of a quite a big development and getting a new encounter on route four so and maybe our new encounter could be really good like honestly there's a potential for that see mantine serving like or it doesn't let you well i wish it would have told me that it wouldn't let me do the tricks because if, it, if I knew I wouldn't let me do the tricks I wouldn't have done them um I kind of don't like the fact that they gave you a tutorial on how to mantine surf I know they kind of had to but it's like really oh yeah landing button see look at that so now it's gonna be like okay now you try on your own and we're gonna do the Magikarp flip because Magikarp is thy mascot the best mascot in the game is Magikarp don't at me I know that Karai's mascot you know I kind of I, what's funny is I still haven't encountered anybody's mascots I well actually nope that's a lie that is a big fat lie we encountered Patter's mascot or well one of them No, that 4,000 points don't count. Are you kidding me? That sucks. Um, but yeah, no, I like I know we encountered Patters, and so that's something. That's always a positive, being able to encounter Patters and like some big YouTubers like that. Um, although we haven't encountered like Fox, I don't actually know what Patters' official mascot is. I just kind of always assumed. I keep looking at the wrong. I keep. I love how every time I swear to goodness, like I just look at OBS because it, OBS is displaying exactly what the game is anyway so does it actually really matter magic card flash and the landing bonus 
Well, I'll take that. But yeah, like, because OBS is just that much bigger, it just... I don't know. It seems like it's just better to look at OBS because of how much bigger it is in comparison. So, also, if you do repetitive tricks, like, it doesn't work, I believe, from what I remember. Like, repetitive tricks actually do worse for you than non-repetitive. Oh, I could have done another trick there. That's okay. Our goal is to really get, like, 10 points if we can. Or, like, 10,000 points. And I think we've already actually achieved that, technically, but... Oh, oh, we could have taken that. Oh, shoot, no. Stupid wall, whale lord. Or, uh, whale, wall, not whale lord. Wall rain, I think it was. Oh, we didn't land that one either. Ugh. We are not doing so hot in the end of this because, of course, we aren't. Uh, but who's ready for the Dexio fight? Because, uh, I'm not. There's, I can't even say anything about being ready for the Dexio fight because, honestly, I feel like the Dexio fight's gonna destroy me, but. That's a section for another time. Well, actually, no, it's not, because that's today's episode. <laughs> but no, Mantine Surfing has been... A, it, like I said, it's a concept that I liked. It's something that, honestly... It, it makes Alola special, in a way. Welcome to Alola. If you guys get the reference, you're true OGs, but most people won't, sadly. Hashtag Pokemon Sun, try link with Culpa and Karai. That was an amazing series that we got to do. And I know I talk about that a lot during this Alola playthrough, but it just, it really was a memorable experience. It was kind of the first time I felt like I was integrated into something. Like, it was the first time that I had, or I felt like I had people around me. People that, uh, in the community, obviously. Um... Like, it just the first time that it felt real, like, the dream felt possible. And I will never forget Karai, Culpa, Jimmy, and um, Karai, Culpa, Jimmy, and Sparks kind of making it real. Making it something I didn't think it could ever become. So, I can always thank them for that. Like, honestly. Like, there's no way I couldn't thank them for that because... Honestly, I was at a point in YouTube where I was really doubting everything. I I really was. I truly was. And, you know, I still have those points today, right? Like, those points happen to everybody. Um, but, like, I don't know. It just feels surreal. And, like, especially the support of the series. Like, I kind of went off on a limb here. Like, I was like, what has what is something that sounds like a very simple concept that people haven't done before to my knowledge i say to my knowledge because it could have been done before and i just haven't seen it and that's when genlock kind of got popped up i don't know somebody i think aaron and i were talking about it um but it kind of it did get brought up and i was like well that kind of seems like an interesting thing and i want to say it was aaron that brought it up kind of seems like an interesting topic like you know make it so that people know that hey um, this can be a thing. Um, you're using one Pokemon per generation, so it makes it even more complicated than a Nuzlocke. Um, because in a normal Nuzlocke, pff, Mega Mewtwo would be on the team. There's no, no doubts about that. Like, of course Mega Mewtwo would be on the team if it was like that. Um. So, with it, us not having to worry about it, and like, it gives me a new kind of challenge, and it may it just, I don't know, having that new challenge just feels refreshing. Like, and I'm so happy I'm doing it in a generation that I love, in Generation 7. Like, it's my third favorite generation. It's, I have, we, we literally have played my second favorite and third favorite generation back to back. And, I don't know, it's nice. Um, now, a lot of people would argue with me that Gen 5 is the best generation. For me, it's second best. It's, for me, it's 4, 5, 3. Uh, or four, five, seven, three is my top four. Um, and like, and a lot of like, I love Generation Three. Like, I honestly, I do. the The way the story goes, the only thing I don't like about Generation Three is the spacing, right? And that's this. I really do care about spacing in Pokemon games. Like, I'm gonna play. A, if I'm gonna play a Pokemon game, it needs to be well spaced. 
And that's why I love Generation 4. Like, you don't, you never have a feeling where you're going to go gym back to back. Like, back to back gyms barely exist in that game, and it's nice. Um, Generation 5 is the same way, where you don't feel like you've got many back to backs either. Like, your closest back to back in gym five, or Generation 5 is, I would say, um, Berg to Elisa. Like, and that's, even then, even though that's back-to-back -back cities, it doesn't, it, they make it feel like it's not a back-to-back. -back. Um, that is one gripe I have about Pokemon X, and that's why I have it rated so low. I think I have it, like, second worst. And that's why I don't really like Sword very much. Sword, it, it really does have the weird, the stupid back-to-back -back feel. Like, honestly, like, I, I hate, I, like, I, spacing is imperative. Um, like, and it, it, it always will be for me. Like, that's why when I made my game, um, I made sure that it, the spacing felt right because I that's what I care about. Um, so, like, Gen 5 is the same thing. Gen 4, or Gen, not Gen 4, Gen 7, this Gen, this is the only island with, like, a weird back-to-back -back feeling. And even then, like I said, the back-to-back -back feeling is, it's really kind of felt on this island. This is why, even though this island is my favorite island in terms of a challenge orientation... It is my least favorite island in terms of spacing. So, um, but I do love this island. Tutorial Island is the worst. Um, number one is the worst. But I like this island. I just, I hate the spacing. Um, because they, they fit, they fit too much in here. Um, like, but it is great for Nuzlocke's and playthroughs. Like, I'm not going to lie. It does feel amazing in a Nuzlocke or a playthrough to be like, oh, we're going to do this today. We're going to get this totem done, we're gonna get this totem done, like, but yeah, Gen 2 has the worst spacing in any Pokemon game, I swear to goodness, like, Gym 1, 2, and 3, perfect spacing, freaking amazing, but, like, all right, from, and then 3 to 4, 4 to 5, and 5 to 6, and 6 to 7, are, uh, are terrible, like, also, why the heck is Price freaking lower leveled than, Jasmine and Chuck. Like, the seventh gym is lower level than the sixth and the fifth. Like, what? I know that that might have been like a glitch or like a coding error, but like, they didn't fix it in Sun or uh, freaking Heart Gold and Soul Silver either. So, like, it makes me think that it wasn't a glitch because if it was a glitch, they would have like fixed it or made something or changed stuff around. They never did, and that's why. I can't stand. And then the, the levels in Gen 2, like, uh, there is no linear thing. There's no, it doesn't, it doesn't feel right when I play Gen 2. Um, and I know I'm ragging on Gen 2. I get it. A lot of people love Gen 2, and Gen 2 is, like, their favorite. But we all are entitled to our own opinions. If you guys like Gen 2, I'm not going to fret. It's not a bad thing that you like Gen 2. Like, honestly, you like whatever game you want to. I just don't like it. <laughs> um, so if I were to give, like, an official ranking, it's, one, or five, excuse me, five, or excuse me, four, five, seven, three, one, eight, six, two. Yes, Judd, I was last. At, don't at me. Um, I literally explained why, because that's, I've, and uh, that, like, I know eight is pretty, uh, but eight, I think, is better than six, like, even though spacing is terrible, I think overall the like, game experience is better than six. Um, but, like, honestly, though, you look at it and it's like, doing the verses with the Beagers, Gen 6 is amazing in a versus style. Like, honestly, it has been amazing to do a versus in Gen 6. But, like, if I were to do, like, a Soul Link or play a Soul Link or something, I'd be like, are you kidding me? Can we not? Like, can we move on to a different game? Can we go to Gen, like, 4? Um, that would be me. Um, as we're going to fight Cena, and Cena is going to have six mons because she's an important trainer. What does she lead with? Um, Breloom. Okay, that's, that's, that's handleable. That should be handleable. We have Papa leading. Oh, that's even more handleable. We don't have a, we don't have a freaking flying type move on Papa, which is low key kind of annoying. Um, I'm not going to lie. It is very annoying not having a freaking, <laughs> like, move. Oh, wow. We missed. Okay. What a start to the video. What a start to the battling portion of the video. We miss. Um, but it is very weird not having that, almost that stability aspect of things. Like, not having a flying time move is just, what? It's like, it makes me confused. 
Um, we better not miss this play rough. We are not losing Papa today. That's not happening. There we go. Breloom has been taken out. Um, we still haven't even gotten to a 6v6 because we never had 6 on the team. Uh, 490 experience. Come on. We're getting close to 28. Grubbin is... What is Grubbin? Oh, God. Grubbin, why do I not remember you? Oh, you're the bug electric type. Um, you're a problem, too. But we have a fire type on you. Or we have a fire type for... We have a fire type move for you. Because, yeah, you, are you even electric yet? I don't think you're actually electric yet. I think you're literally just pure bug. Um, which, honestly, is not a bad thing. It actually helps us considerably that you're not a bug type or you're not an electric type. Because if you were an electric type, you'd be a little scary. But, again, not having to worry about that is very nice. Searing shot. Wreck the cribbity crap out of that grub. And it can go to the trash because it ain't grub anymore. Or did we cook it for grub? That's that's another question today. Did we cook the did we cook the grubbin for grub? Sawsbug. Oh, that's dead. <laughs> Cena's actually been really easy, which I am not gonna lie, I am down for. Snow warning. Oh, even better. Thank you. Thank you for setting up the snow. I do appreciate it. Imagine if you had drought. That would have been hilarious. It's like, oh, by the way, we have drought. Noble roar. Doesn't that increase your attack, or does that hurt my attack? It hurts my attack and special attack. Oof. Noble Roar, actually a good move. I didn't think it was. Um, ow. Wow. Okay. Well, we got the burn, though. We got the, the necessary burn there, which is... We take those. Um, but, yeah, we will kind of see what happens here. Hopefully, it's good. Hopefully, we do good. I think we will. As our attack and special attack still fall, which is... Ugh. Luckily, we'll be able to switch, though, so we won't have to, like, worry about that aspect of things, because, I mean, minus two is just definitely not a place where we want to be. Uh, 534 for Greenbird, who's going to go to level 19 now, which we take. We take handily. We like being level 19. Shenotic. Another. Another one. Interesting. What? Why do you have all grass types? That sucks, though, because we need Greenbird now. Um, Greenbird is literally just taking control of this entire game. Um, I guess we stay in with Greenbird. That's our best option. It's that sucks. Um, still no shinies yet. Who will be the first one with a shiny? That's the question. Sacred Fire. I know that that's not going to do that much. It's going to do, like, not even half. Yeah, that's exactly what I expected. But we got the burn off, so that's going to help. Forest Curse. You gave us the grass typing? You did. Okay. Or is that the ghost typing that we're getting? I think it's grass. Grass type. So we're grass flying. Oh, we're quad weak to ice now. Um. Hmm. We do kill with a searing shot, though. So, because with the burn and ice damage, we should kill. So... We stay in. If we get ice beamed, then screw us then. But I highly doubt it. Yeah, Snarl. Okay, that's gonna hurt. And honestly, I don't think we did enough damage to actually help us with uh, killing this thing. Yep. Barely didn't do enough. But that's okay. We can Searing Shot you one more time, because you die. And I know we're taking risks, and I know that John doesn't usually like taking risks, but... Honestly, you guys want to see risks. You don't want to see no risk. I can't believe he's, she's not had a single freaking thing that's not weak to fire. Um, bl oh, well, there it is. <laughs> we ask and we shall receive, I guess. Um, we're going to go into Zayden. Zayden can go ahead and Thunder Punch the crap out of this thing. So, if this is just a straight-up Mega Blastoise, though, we might be in a little bit of trouble. But, honestly, I don't think it will be. No, it is not. Perfect. And it's still not shiny, which is... Like, I, I want the trainers to pop up with a shiny i'm actually i'm like exp i feel like the one time it actually happens it's gonna be like a pointless pokemon that doesn't deserve to have it um like i swear that's what's gonna happen that is 100 percent what's gonna happen oh no black sludge are you kidding me okay i have trash items we like that and you set up the rain dance too late thank you for giving me swift swim i really do appreciate it oh wait we don't have swift swim in this game i just forgot about that oopsies I forget the like, but Mega Swampert normally has Swift Swim, so at least I got that part correct. Um, competitive battler, got it down. Level twenty-two for Zayden, and that's actually wait, no, it's not. Twenty-two times one point one is 
24. So yeah, the the um the level of the actual the next totem is gonna be level 24. So we actually are starting to see that we're we're actually on par, which is awesome. And that's a Cobalion. Um We're gonna go into Daddy the Champ. Honestly, good Pokemon, good things that we have. Best option here. Uh, by far. No no doubt about it. Um, st again, still no shiny. Um, we're gonna storm throw it because that should Oko and oh, you're faster. Damn, I I was definitely not expecting to be slower. Um, but yeah, so that kills. We're good. Oh, nope, it does not kill. Oopsies. Oh, wait, what do you have? You. <laughs> One of our Pokemon has the Black Sludge. The other Pokemon has leftovers, because naturally it can't be the other way around. I'm actually glad it's not the other way around because I don't I think that black sludge would have actually hurt it. Um it, I think black sludge actually would not have hurt it, I should say. Um But yeah, let's go ahead and check our Pokeballs. I believe we have enough to where we can totally get our encounter before we end today's episode. Um Cause yeah, that kind of seems like a good a uh, good place to leave us off. Because I don't want to leave you off on a cliffhanger or anything. Um, no, I definitely would leave you off on a cliffhanger, but honestly, I'm not that mean. Also, she healed us up like a good girl. Thank you so much. Um, I'm so happy you did that. And a full restore. Well, we don't need that. No, don't save. Don't save, please. I said we want to check our Pokeballs. Can we do that, please? Let's let's do that. Okay. Um, we have doesn't tell us there. There it is. Twenty Pokeballs and no and uh oh, twenty Pokeballs and seven Great Balls. That's enough, right? That should give me enough. Um, now who do we? I guess we kind of find out on the encounter here. I'm a little nervous for it, not going to lie, but hopefully it's a Gen 6 Mon that we can utilize. Because honestly, we do need a Gen 6 Mon if we can get one. Um, or at least, I should say, something we can utilize. Because, or actually, wait, don't we, ha don't we have a Gen 6 Mon? Why, do I Why does my brain think we have a Gen 6 Mon already? Um, that is a Ninetales. That is Gen 1, which is totally fine by me. We take nine tails because honestly, not a bad like I said, not a bad mon. It's something we can utilize. Um, I am gonna dizzy you. I'm actually gonna play rough it because it resists that, and I don't want to kill it because we want to have a hundred percent catch rate. I think we haven't missed an encounter yet. That thing has flamethrower. Oh my god. Um, that's an oofy. Um. Okay, well, we can definitely Dizzy Punch it, though. That's that's for sure. Now that we're burned, 100%. It'll live a Dizzy Punch. Oh, well, Papa's dead. <laughs> oh, Papa didn't die. I'm actually very surprised. Um, I'm happy, though. That That's good. We, we, we don't want Papa to die. Um, we definitely are going into Zayden here, because uh, Zayden's literally the only one that can take any of those fire moves. Uh, if you have Giga Drain, I'm going to be a little upset, but we live with it. Um... Fusion Flare and Flamethrower. Oh, that's so good. Teeter Dance. Oh, wow. Why is this mod so good? I'm down. That's more backup in the PC. But it sucks, though, that like all these good mods are being resorted as backup in the PC because of what we're doing. Like, 1,000%, I would love to be like, yeah, we're adding it to the team. Let's go. Um, but we literally cannot do that. That literally does not work in this game, in the gen log. So, it does make it very hard um yeah so you only have flamethrower fire moves and teeter dance but still it's like an amazing move set not gonna lie like i can't even complain about that move set it's like it's like how how do you complain about that move set literally flamethrower and fusion flare two of the best fire moves in the game um and honestly technically speaking i can replace machamp 
And this would not be a bad replacement. It gives me a fire type. It gives me access to that typing. It's got the two best fire type, well, two of the best special fire type moves in the game. I'm actually considering getting rid of Machamp. Not gonna lie. And you guys are all gonna be like, why didn't you consider it with a Mega Mewtwo? And it's like, because Mega Mewtwo doesn't cover weaknesses as much as this thing does. Like, this thing literally mitigates my grass problems. Like. But then again, Green Bird does that too. <sighs> Honestly, I don't know. It, this has definitely been. It's definitely very difficult to decide what we want to do because it just nothing really does anything different. And that being that nothing does anything different, like, I don't know. We'll kind of find out if we catch this. There it is. Okay. I do feel like we're not going to use it yet, but it's definitely a good replacement for Machamp. Um, uh, we're actually going to name this Frisk because we have a subscriber that really loves Ninetales, and his name is Frisk. Or their name is Frisk. I don't know if it's who it is, but, like, I, I don't know the gender, but we're going to just... Would you like to see our given nickname? Yes. Frisky Frisk the Ninetales. And we can see Frisk's summary. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forget that we literally have not six months. So it just straight up gets added to the party, which we can't utilize it. Okay, so Frisk, you have... Oh my god! Beast boosting nine tails! Oh no! I so want to add this now. It's a beast boost! Uh, I need to. I wish I could play that Joey sound effect right now. Beast boost! Um, I feel like we might have to add this to the team. I don't want to lose my champ. We already got a fighting type, and honestly. Beast boosting nine tails does not sound bad. Um, especially for the 6v6 battles. If we, like... Mm, that... Oh, God. I don't know. That's a beast boosting nine tails. Anyway, we will figure that out in the next episode of Cage... Not Cage Match. Uh, we'll figure it out in the next episode of the Genlock. I hope you guys had a fantastic day. Um... We'll figure out what we do with this beast boosting nine tails. Holy shiitake mushrooms, Batman. I love you all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, everybody.